Hey folks, it's been six weeks. I've got a chunk of development video. Let's take a look at that first. We could break that box open. We could basically turn it inside out and have hardware that could be expanded as needed, like tiling out a bigger ballroom floor after the dancing has already started. If we're going to make those three right in here, we're going to need to clear out these two, need to extend these down, redo some of this wiring. We could plug up uh, those three internally, <sighs> power it up, get it updated, shut it down, then put in the data only connectors between them and bring it back up <laughs> this <laughs> this is the uh, uh, building uh, extending the ballroom floor after the dancing has already started so the thought is what do you think the odds are that we could do all this and <laughs> not disrupt this uh, a current run, I think the odds are very, very low. But what the hell, let's give it a try. which we can use on this one and we will inject power in a place convenient like here okay now we're going to need well we can just leave this for the moment so but the point is we can now all the power to this assuming this is working uh, uh, so we can disconnect this. All right. G-series tiles and we will revisit the older ones in the later lotuses. So here we go. got 
a power injector with a Y splitter. I'm not sure if this is a good Y splitter or not. Brand new power supply. 12 volts and 5 amps. So it claims. 121 watts. So I think we are ready to power up Lotus 3 for the first time. We are disconnected. Disconnected, we are fully connected. Internally, let's see what happens. Right now, we're up to 170 watts. 170 watts as this thing's booting. Let's see what we get. these down for now, get a tile in here to program these, and then think about <laughs> we're in the day only connectors. Whoa, this is really hot. This is not a good one. Wow. So, this have this is not a good wow they're still they're still pretty warm so whatever taking you know, from 120 to 170 so pushing 50 watts through this thing that's too much for this jeez all right for now anyway I'm just ditching this one because it sucks. Alright, so I've now put in uh, an older G series here, just connected in a single connection, so hopefully it'll update all these guys. In fact, hopefully it'll update them to the 2D printer. So again, we're running between 165 and 170 change watts uh, for Lotus 1, Lotus 2, Lotus 3, the laptop, and the Fuji, plus the UPS overhead. Well, we can move with that for now. Alright, I think we are getting to the point of trying to plug these up. Data uh, only connectors. <laughs> Let's see if this is going to work. I think. Okay. So we're going to power down Lotus 3, uh, unplug it, put in the power only connectors. I'm sorry, the data only connectors, and then power it up. Uh oh. -uh. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <sighs> Nothing should
first one. Oh. Oh, and there it is. What a bummer. Oh, well. So that's it. That's the birth of Lotus 3. Uh, Lotus 3 is fine. Uh, I have had a huge run going on it for uh, a couple of weeks, I guess, almost now. Uh, uh, that'll be up soon. Uh, um, <clears throat> there's a, a bunch of issues about that. So uh, the watt meter that's measuring the whole thing, we're at 170 watts for three lotuses. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to go all the way to seven and be running it through a single UPS and a single this, that, and the other thing have to deal with that. The bigger, more immediate issue is heat. Uh, uh, <clears throat> in some of these demos, uh, it, it, once you know to look for it, that things often seem to be running slowly in the middle, and they run quicker around the edges. And it's true; it's not a it's not an illusion because uh, the edges have two advantages. Number one, they have fewer other tiles connected to them, so they have less load on them. They only have to talk in two or three or four directions instead of six directions. But also, they're closer to fresh air, and once these tiles heat up above a bunch of thresholds that I stuck in there, they start cranking down the CPU. Uh, um, so uh, the, I've, you know, been planning on doing something to get, you know, CPU fans or something to stick in the bookshelves behind it to pull air out so that there's some positive flow going through the thing. It's time to move on that. All right, so that's the development story. Uh, um, I took the month of March off. It's been six weeks. Uh, the goals was to get GDRO user space spikes. What the heck is that? That's a, a generalized distributed ring oscillator. This is the new idea uh, for a way to have a low level best effort sync among the tiles to agree whose turn it is. And they pass a token around in a nice, robust, self-stabilizing way. Got nowhere. Got <laughs> did nothing on it. Uh, um, we'll talk about that in a sec. Uh, um, Build Lotus 3, did it. Make Search Quiet Wake, the science fiction story, more accessible to try to get it out there. I mean, the point of, you know, I'm convinced that there is an audience for the story as it stands. But since part of the whole point of doing outreach with a science fiction story is to try to reach a little bit of a bigger audience, it seems to me it's it's legitimate to try to say, is there some easy steps that we could do to make the story a little bit more easy for, for people to get their heads around? I have some done some work around that. The other goal was have some fun. So, uh, <clears throat> all right. So the development story is Lotus 3. Next step is cooling. Uh, uh, the research story was, you know, getting this redo, uh, uh, bottom up, best effort, be more UDP ish and less TCP ish rather than assuming permanent reliable stream, just take it as it lays. Uh, um, didn't work on it at all. Now, partly that was because I, I had a terrible writer's block on a separate uh, bit of writing, just regular scientific writing that I was supposed to be due, that mm, wasted a ton of time. Well, invested a ton of time, whatever you think. Uh, uh, but also, I am getting concerned about how much big hacking I still have in me. Uh, uh, you know, I, it, it's hard to find four hours to put together. And if I do, it's hard to stay on task. You know, I, I need some of these study drugs or, or something. I don't know. Uh, uh, so that's a concern I have. I haven't, I haven't given up. I, you know, there's always been excuses so far and I still want to go on this, but it's taken long enough that I, that, you know, just being honest, I don't know, maybe things are changing. We'll see about that going forward. Uh, uh, so that's the research story. Not very satisfying. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Uh, there's more, a little bit more about development. So I did order one of these USB temperature sensors uh, uh, that um, supposedly you can talk to with Linux. And, and you can. And it's got its own set of problems and so on and so forth. Like it comes out, uh, uh, you know, five degrees centigrade off. Uh, uh, so you have to add numbers to it. And I think what's really going on is you're supposed to use the software, you know, the Windows-only uh, software mini CD that comes with it. Uh, um, 
to calibrate the thing and just out of the box it's not calibrated properly uh, uh but you know so far a constant offset seems to be not too far off and so now uh it's recording uh, uh in the uh, room it's called the dark room where the uh, uh the grid is growing um we're watching the temperature start to go up and down and so forth so we've got at least a baseline to understand something about what's going on in the room when we start to get to actual cooling uh, uh okay so my goal for the science fiction story search quiet wake which i've been talking about for months here uh, uh, uh my new attitude is you know the goal is to increase its rejection count it's only been rejected once that's unacceptable <laughs> It should be rejected twice, three, four times if need be, uh, uh, like that. So the, the plan is to do some of these rewrites to make it a little bit more accessible. I have a little blurb paragraph that I put at the front that I think, you know, sort of helps set the stage. And, you know, I talked to one one of my early readers who who liked it the way it was, and, and he said, you know, he could see how that might help, but he could also see how an editor might just say, eh, get rid of it, uh, like that, you know, which is fine. If I get as far as having an editor and they want to get rid of it, that would be wonderful. Uh, but the goal then is before the next update uh, uh, to submit the story to get its second rejection from Clark's World magazine. Uh, um, and, you know, it's uh, I, I thought since I had sent it to Asimov's magazine and I thought this was Arthur C. Clark, but it's not. It's it's Neil Clark, uh, the editor uh, of the American Clark's World. And, you know, look, you know, he, the, the current issue has got a story by Greg Egan. Greg Egan's a big time science fiction writer. I am a Greg Egan fanboy. You know, <laughs> here's the story. I haven't, I haven't gone to read it yet. Uh, uh, but uh, they take, uh, 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 you know, open, they have an online submission system a lot like the Asimov's things. They actually care about the cover letter. So I need to spend a little bit more time on that. And, and they, uh, Neil Clark gives some hints on the very, very helpful on, on what you need to put in, what would be good to put in and what wouldn't be put in. But, you know, look at this. This is our average response time is typically under two days. <laughs> That's because they reject everything. <laughs> uh, uh, so uh, my goal is, you know, within, say, the next week uh, to make the accessibility rewrites to Search Quiet Wake, to get it in there and to get it rejected before the next uh, update. So that's the plan on the story. Uh, um, and uh, I don't, if there's news, interim news, <coughs> I, I, will, I will mention it on the T2 Discord, T2 Tile Project Discord server that we have. So uh, folks that are hip to Discord uh, uh, could, you know, check in there to get uh, earlier news if there is any. Okay, that's the uh, Search Quiet Wake story. Uh, um, and that's, and right, so then the only other point was to have some fun. I actually managed to do that too. Uh, uh, and, you know, it's funny. I, I, I sort of imagine that, that folks who, you know, have actual lives and occasionally give like scientific talks or whatever it is, you know, it kind of goes without saying that, you know, they have fun and they do these things, they go to movies, whatever the the heck it is you know but you know i, I kind of do all, do this a lot of the time in the day uh so sort of actually putting in have some fun is an actual thing uh, um so number one so you know i wrote these new verses for the 12 days of christmas 12 steps to robust uh and uh, i'm actually trying to work on singing it uh, and, you know, I, I haven't sung since elementary school, since I was a soprano. Uh, um, <clears throat> and so I've been, uh, you know, Googling random web pages about learn to drop your larynx and sing from your diaphragm and uh, uh, so on. And, you know, watching random YouTube videos and so forth. And, you know, I think the long and short of it is... <clears throat> um, I, I, I can, I can, I don't, you know, I don't sound great. I'm not a singer, but I can sound okay on this specific song, uh, uh, the 12 steps to robust, except for pick new metrics, except for the, that, which, which sails a little bit out of my range. My, my range is like about four notes wide. Uh, uh, so I have to figure out what to do about that. But you know, Hey, it was a new thing. Uh, uh and it was actually kind of fun. And you know, I, I'm recording little takes and then listening to them. Ouch. Uh, uh and it's better than it was, it was just, you know, a little sense of progress and just like do any new thing, you get the low hanging fruit. So that was fun. 
Uh, in addition, we took a, a day trip. We drove out into the, the Jemez uh, of, of no, in northern New Mexico uh, uh, to look at the red rocks and see the uh, old churches along the way. There's some red rocks. And even though it was like the absolute end of March, uh, we actually managed to have a, a, a little uh, lovely snowstorm to have our picnic in and so forth. So it was actually a lot of fun. <sighs> so that was great. Uh, okay, and that's it, really. Uh, um, six weeks. But now, back on Cadence, and so uh, two weeks from now, April 26th, uh, uh, so the goal, uh, bump the SQW rejection count, uh, try again on getting GDRO user spikes going, uh, um, and but also uh, for the development, actually have a demo somehow of an external fan. I, I bought a fan that could be used, but I got to come up with something to uh, drive uh, a 12 volt supply for it. And some way it would be optimal to have some way to control the speed. It's got these little things in it, but uh, uh, I don't know exactly how to work that out and connect it to the laptop or a Raspberry Pi or something. We'll see. Maybe that'll end up counting as having some fun too. We shall see. Uh, folks, uh, uh, whether you're here live or watching the uh, updates later, thanks so much for coming. <sighs> Europe is still at war. People are dying by the thousands. It's awful. But, you know, <sighs> keep looking for hope and progress. Uh, don't know what to say except, you know, well, we sent in some money, you know, whatever. Not doing very much here, but... Uh, do a little bit and then in the rest of the time just sort of put one foot in front of the other uh, uh, and keep on trying to make progress whatever it is so uh, we're doing all right i hope y'all are doing all right too thanks so much for coming by